Right, here we go. Welcome back, everyone. This is a fresh recording session, so I'll go get back into the groove again. Okay, right. Uh, yep, controls working. Okay. Is there any button that lets you run? I don't think there is, which is fair enough, I guess. But yeah, we've only beaten two of the monsters so far. Going deeper into the caverns. What's down here? Treasure chest. A reviving balm. No idea what that the symbols at the bottom mean yet. I think that means there's monsters and the camp. Mm, no idea. One blow using an S craft. Or S break should do the trick just for about any enemy. Catch yourself CPS to be at least 100 to pull off one of those moves. Oh, okay, so this is like the true limit break. It's like the other moves are just like strong attacks, but if you fill the gauge all the way, you use your super move. Oh, S breaks are actions which allow S crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order. So you do it on the same turn. Uh, S crafts which are unleashed as S breaks can be changed by going to tactics and then set S breaks within the main menu. Okay. So our S break can be different depending on what we set in the menu. Uh, yeah, let's uh, boost our speed. Hint, uh, these are actions which allow S-Crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order once the CPK just reached zero. S-Crafts which still ca oh right right right, it's telling you the same stuff just in case you missed it before the battle. Press the S-Break button to unleash an S-Break and that. As the S-Break cannot be unleashed under the condition, okay. Now press the brake, unleashing an S brake. If you're using a keyboard, you may use the unsty buttons uh, to select it before unleashing it. Okay. As, I'm as far as I'm aware, it's just a confirm button for that. <laughs> eh, we'll learn the more, uh, more use the skills, the easier I get. They seem to drop a lot of uh, one type of Sabbath. Let's have a look over here. The door is supposed to appear to be locked. Okay. Uh, let's what see down here. Ah, that must be the chest. This is going to be a piece of cake. Seems like we've got a little breathing room at least. Let's pay close attention to our battle lord this time. Confirm bonuses have the same effects uh, regardless of whether they are allotted to an ally or a foe. Using S breaks to ignore the battle order makes it easier to break, jump to jump in and strip the enemy off their turn bonus. Okay, so if you're on a certain turn you get attack bonuses or even health bonuses. That's interesting. 
haste could work to your de detriment if there's enough negatives on a turn. Oh, or are they just bonuses then? Okay. Oh. Um. Again, we're gonna boost up our speed. Oh, I missed. Attack. There we go. Oh, geez. God damn it. Oh wait, yeah. Uh, those are harder to hit with melee attacks. I'm gonna do it. Luckily we've got healing magic, so we shouldn't die. Take out this guy first since he, t he can get hit by physicals. Right, now we just need to use magic on these two damn annoying bug things. Okay. down. Okay, clock up. So I thought, there we go, uh, we want to, where is it, where is it, uh, move, there we go, that's our turn done. There we go. Come on. Craft, two strike, boom. That would have got a more That's south it. then. Let's move out. Curative Horn, Chris Bunyan. Job done! 
small boxes too inside the treasure chest. The fact there's not just one but two is kind of interesting too. Wonder what's inside. It's the research. I'm pretty sure she's looking to support. It doesn't fall under our mission objective. <laughs> oh god. As long as, yeah, that's right, nothing legal. You know, right over here. Yeah, I'm gonna ask her when we get back. Uh, but for now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Oh, alright, alright. Oh, there we go. There is a run button. I have to hold down the left stick. Then do. Alright, there we go. Finished the quest for now. We're going to head back.